Hello everyone and welcome to your DMLC branding presentation. My name is Paige Davis and I'm the marketing manager for Dance Marathon at the University of Florida. And I'm Charles Hang and I'm the multimedia overall director for Dance Marathon at the University of Florida. Now we're gonna talk about how we operate as a marketing team. So the team structure, we have our marketing manager that is in charge of our three marketing teams, the design and technology captain team, um, consists of about 20 graphic designers and web developers, the multimedia captain team, which consists of about 25 to 30 photographers and videographers, and our public relations captain team, which is about 20 writers and social media experts. So the responsibilities, all teams um, work closely together. So multimedia captures our events and works on deadlines for editing to get them to public public relations so we are responsible for capturing editing and sorting design and technology works behind the scenes on all of our web and app updates as well as any graphically produced content and the public relations team works to sort and decipher what content works for our social media posts um, so our posts blogs um, press releases and facebook events so our process includes um, request forms, which are basically for any team across the Emmett UF to send the marketing team a request for anything that they may want. This includes a Facebook event. This includes social media posts, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever they may need. And from there, multimedia and design and technology will work to create content for that event or for that team. So if hospitality has a Chick-fil-A night coming up, they will make sure that photographers and videographers are there to capture content. And then after the event is over, photographers work to edit all pictures using a Lightroom preset, which we will talk about later. And all of those pictures will then go into a Google Drive folder. And then our videographers will put all of their content into a Dropbox. And our Dropbox is incredibly important as all of our videos that are finally made are made through little clips that are all put into Dropbox. So we organize this by green, yellow, and red folders for each event. And so any green folder means that is my best video I took. Like these are clips I definitely could see in a video. Your yellow means I could maybe see this in a video, but it's not my best. And then red is I took this. If you absolutely need to use it, use it, but it's not my best. That way, whoever is going to make a final video doesn't have to go through all of these clips that some of them won't be good. Um, our design technology team utilizes Slack and Google Drive as well. So in Slack, there is a long line of communication with a bunch of people who are able to make changes for every graphic. So if our hospitality team requests a graphic for our Chick-fil-A night, they might send a beginning graphic in the Slack and that person may say, our hospitality overall director may say, can you fix this? And then they will continuously send changes and fixes in there and then the final graphic goes into a Google Drive where our public relations team then goes through and sorts all graphics and all photos for our social media feed. Now we're gonna talk about the steps to bettering your brand. So like Paige touched on, we create a branding guide. So one of the first things that we like to establish is defining your vision. It is important to establish a set vision for the year to effectively carry out your brand as an organization. So for ours, we have the 26.2 hour event raises funds and awareness for UF Health Shands Children's Hospital, our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. In order to continue raising awareness, Dance Marathon must communicate one uniform message to the community. Another thing that we have in our branding guide are all of our logos. So we have our primary and secondary logos, and these are found on all of our online printed um, graphics. Um, all of our social media posts and all of our merchandising um, designs. Um, and we try not to deviate from these. We keep it in the same proportions um, throughout the year to stay consistent. Next, we focus a lot on typefaces. So we have four main typefaces that we really don't deviate from when it comes to our social media posts and graphics. So we have a header font, a subheader font, an accent font, and a body font. Um, we use Metropolis because it's something that we've branded ourselves with for years, and that is something I highly recommend doing. Um, again, every single graphic, we use these four fonts um, or just one or two of them. Um, and then we do deviate when it comes to merchandise to kind of create cool and 
new merchandise, I guess. Um, so when it comes to merch, we do use other fonts, but as far as our brand and sticking to social media, we only use these fonts. Next, we're gonna talk about colors. So creating a color palette is huge for DM at UF. Um, we spend a lot of time doing this. Primarily the design and technology team will do this throughout the summer and create a year long color palette for us. So this was our last year's color palette. Um, our basic colors stay the same. So it's our primary colors, just blue and orange, like our um, school colors. And then we have our basics and our accents. So these are year long. So your basics will go into every single campaign, every single graphic will use your basics. And then your accents you use throughout the campaign, just like in little sections throughout your graphics. So on the next slide, you can see that um, for Season of Miracles last year, our, our big colors were purple and green, and it really created a divide between our last campaign and this one. And then same with every, every little thing, which is on the right, which is our summer campaign. You can see that it's more pastel colors, yellow and blue. And those are just ways that we use our colors throughout the year. And it's very important to us to keep our brand identifiable. Next thing in the branding guide are our graphics and photographics. So our graphics like these three examples are made by our design and technology team. And it is really important and a great tool to use for sharing on social media. We encourage everyone in our organization to share them once we post on Instagram or other social media platforms. And it, as it allows for bigger outreach. And another example of graphics are our photographics, which combines the talents of multimedia and design and technology to effectively carry out the exact same goals as our graphics, which is to have um, bigger outreach um, for any announcements that we have for our campaigns, um, countdowns, congratulatory posts, anything of that nature. So next in our branding guide is merchandising. So it we try to have our logo, like I said earlier, on every shirt and merchandise item that we um, put out to brand ourselves. Um, in DM at UF, one thing that we have in our merchandising to kind of define ourselves on campus are our check-in shirts, which feature our year-long campaign name, event dates, and three colors, like the primary colors that we mentioned earlier. Um, so again, it is another way to define yourself on campus and as an organization with your brand. Terminology is another thing that we focus on and prioritize. So every single member of our organization is taught um, kind of how to brand ourselves when speaking or writing about our cause. So our event title, our hospital title, emails and press releases, our motto, our staff titles, anything of that nature that belongs to DM at UF is capitalized always. So dancers, fundraisers, captains, overall directors, Anybody you have in your organization and their title should be capitalized, your hospital should be capitalized, your event, um, anything of that nature, everybody should be using in their Facebook posts, in their Instagram posts, just kind of having everybody on the same page um, when it comes to your brand is very important. Lastly, we like to include a terms of use and we find this very important to protect ourselves in everything that we produce. So any graphic product or media produced by a Dance Marathon member, um, for the purpose of Dance Marathon is the property of Dance Marathon. So if anybody were to produce something and use our logo, that would have to go through our merchandise team and be approved by a manager, advisor, or overall director. And so um, that just keeps everything on brand and protects us um, from use of selling and stuff. Next, we have our photo style guide, which is created by the multimedia team. And it basically establishes is what we wanna to capture to fit our brand. So we strive to make sure that we're focusing on every single individual that participates in DM at UF, um, not just our Miracle families, but also our sponsors, our dancers, our captains, our doctors, our event participants. It's important to capture every single moment that occurs at all of our events. And so for our team goals, Paige is gonna to touch on that a little bit more. So for team goals, um, it's very important for us as a multimedia team to kind of make sure everybody is on the same page using similar equipment, um, editing, their so editing their pictures with the same softwares. So as I mentioned, as Charles mentioned earlier, multimedia is filled with a team of 25 to 30 photographers and videographers. Um, all of these individuals use the same editing platforms and equipment. So we 
strive to create a team of people using all DSLR cameras for above and then also shooting on raw settings. Raw settings are very important to any organization because it allows you to blow up your images on posters. So let's say Children's Miracle Network wanted to use a photo of ours, it wouldn't distort our quality at all. And so we really do recommend that every team finds people at your school who have a camera and shoot on raw. And it doesn't take a professional photographer. As we talk about later, we do really focus on learning and growing and teaching. And so it's very easy to find somebody who's just a beginner and likes photography. And um, that's something that we really focus on as a team. So, so with every single photo that we take, we use a Lightroom preset on all of the photos. This helps um, establish your brand as it makes all of your social media posts that include photos um, cohesive on the feed on your Instagram or on any other social media platform. And like I mentioned earlier, we include our logos on all of our photos, graphics and photographics to stay consistent as well. So another thing to touch on in your photo style guide is photo composition. This is a great way to establish set rules and things to look for when taking a photo. So mentioning things like the rule of thirds, um, filling your frame, um, leaving negative space and cutting things, uh, subjects off naturally. These are a couple things that you can include to um, teach your multimedia or any photographers in your organizations um, to, on how to capture photos throughout the year. So next we're going to be talking about social media timelines, calendars, and request forms. I already briefly mentioned request forms. So another way that we use these request forms is putting all of those requests into a calendar. So our public relations team works really hard to meet deadlines, but as you can see, I took a screen grab of our December social timeline, and we do this for every single month where it's separated by platform and type of post. So we do Facebook posts, Instagram posts, Instagram story, Twitter posts, notifications via our app, and then our blogs and newsletters. So anytime somebody puts a request in through our request form, we then put it into our social media timeline. And this helps to keep everything super seamless and make sure that we don't miss anything on any of our platforms and kind of create um, a way for everyone involved with DM at UF to keep up to date with our organization and what is going on. Next um, is fundraising kits. This is something new that we've been doing and we completely have seen so much success with it that we will continue to utilize it. And we hope that other DM organizations start to utilize it as well. And so this one that you're going to see throughout the next few slides is from our Legacy of Hope campaign, which focused on our child life program at UF Health Shan Children's Hospital. And we sent this to our entire organization. So every single individual had an easy way to fundraise without having to think of it on their own. So yeah, the goal of fundraising should be that it's easy and fun and not hard and stressful. So one of the first things that we include in our fundraising kits are templates. So these are examples of email templates, text and social media post templates that our participants can use um, when they're making a post. Um, these are cause connection graphics that they can also post. So these were for the different departments of child life and they were $250 impacts, which I will touch on in a future slide. Um, but these are things that they can post on their um, Facebook or Instagram stories. So we also like to include explanations on the campaign or the specific cause in general. So these are explanations of each of those departments of child life. And we like to include these to allow for our participants to understand exactly where the money that they're fundraising goes to. So with goal setting techniques, it's really important to um, use numbers that have a value. So the $250 um, correspond to different things that you can fundraise for under each of those departments. Um, a lot of our numbers that we use for our fundraising goals are cause connected. So for example, if you want to have a $50 fundraising goal, make that connected to a miracle family that you have in your program or make it um, connected to the cause in general. But it's definitely important to make sure that um, whatever you're fundraising is always cause connected. Thank you guys so much for viewing our presentation. And if you have any questions at all about your brand or our brand, we would be happy to answer them. And our contact information is listed below. I hope you all have a great rest of DMLC and we'll see you soon.